This is the biggest horse they have. He looks like a dinosaur. You're spilling everything. This is Magnum. Hey, Magnum. I think he's a Shire cross. I don't know, but he's so I don't cute. know anything about horses. You don't need to. This is a Velociraptor. This is a Trendsaurus Rex. They're actually herbivores. This right. is literally the biggest horse I've ever seen in my whole life. That was Oreo. This is Drifter. That's Greg is the lieutenant. So this is his horse. They're all assigned horses. They're so beautiful. This is the new horse. He's a baby. I love him. His name's Jasper. He's a Clydesdale cross. And he's so cute. And he's going to be so big. Okay. Hi, Gambit. Gambit acts like a baby. Gambit is just a baby. Look. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not paying attention to you. Oh, they're just like giant teddy bears. Oh. Headbutt. Give him a kiss. How excited are you? Y'all want to do another jump clinic again? Yes. That was fun. I actually really want to put him in. You need help? No, these are just like probably never been moved. I really want to buy them. Like once I get the job here, I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff. Like I want to get them. Like real jumps, like maybe just two. Not that they need it, but just for fun, you know, and just to have jump training because they always want it because it's fun. And I don't know. They just have like these standards here, which you can't get like really high. Not that it matters, but when I'm when I'm working here, I want to jump high. <laughs> How high do you want to jump? Um. I don't know, like I was definitely not what I was jumping at, but like three foot, you know, just like little, I'm trying to figure out this is short stepping. I'm trying to think about Emmett, Emmett's pretty big, but I think he has a short stride. I've only ridden him like twice. We'll walk in two laps around, okay. just to kind of let him flex and everything, and hopefully maybe he'll fart and I can tighten the belt up a little tighter. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'll, I'll usually uh, walk him two or little, Three laps one way, three laps the other way, and then we'll do um, the back and forth, and then we'll trot three laps one way, trot three laps the other way, and trot uh, uh, back and forth. Okay, well, we can start with all that. I'm actually gonna grab a lunge line because I might end up just to help you work on two point and posting, so you don't have to worry about your hands. I might like tie up your reins and just have like just lunge you, if that makes sense. Okay. Because that's like, it's really helpful when you don't have to think about like steering. Mm -hmm. So I might do that. We used to do like round pin work, but we can just do it with a lunge line in here. If you're okay. cool with that. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, I'm gonna go grab one and you could just do your thing. All right, I'll be out here. I'll be right back. I love like lunge line work and I always did it. When I was a kid, I mean, I hated it at the time, but I always get nervous asking people if they want to do it because I don't want them to think they're being like pony, you know, like little kid. Like yeah. I'm like, got you on a lunge line. I mean, what's the benefit of it? <clears throat> I can tie up his reins and he doesn't have to focus on like steering. He can mm -hmm. just focus on his position. And why is that important? Because your position is the foundation. Everybody thinks like your hands are, but they're not. Oz mm. going out? Yeah. I'm gonna give him a bath one day. Yeah. He needs some TLC. Yeah, I usually do. <laughs> he enjoys being dirty. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, see, I get so excited thinking about this job because I'm like, I'm gonna have a binder, I'm gonna have all the horses in it and all the officers, I'm gonna take notes, I'm gonna plan lessons, training programs. So I think the, when I was reading the job decision, it was like bi weekly lessons with each officer. 
It'll be fun. I'll make a little calendar. Be like, all right, bro, today you with me? <laughs> Saddle and up. Then, <clears throat> the month of November, they're going to come in and all their stirrups are going to be gone. No stirrup November. Fuck this velvet pants! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Oh my god, gifted by Daniela Lagarda. Am I famous? You could be. Oh, shut up! Oh my god. Dude, we match, we match. Yeah, she does. Why do they get famous people free shit? Why do they get the people money free shit? Right? It's not so as backwards. Yeah, but then it's promo for them if they wear it. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. I scratch your butt, you scratch mine. Quid pro quo. Lessons from Tina. Gay Tina. <laughs> Shout out to Gay Tina. Shout out to I Gay Tina. Love gay, Tina. gay Tina loves you. She's always like, how's your lady? <laughs> She was so funny. Every story that she told me, she was like, so we were on a, what'd she say? She was like, we were on a boat tour or whatever. A lesbian boat tour. Obviously. <laughs> and then she was like, oh yeah, and then one time, one year, I went up to the cabins in North Carolina. The lesbian cabins. So she was like, they have those? I think she just is so excited that she like has like other lesbians around her, you know? Probably. Starting off 2020 like really strong, man. I, I really hope that this year we are able to achieve over 75% of our goals, kind of like I did last year. Uh, last year I, I uh, made a lot of goals for myself and honestly I, I reached most of them. Most of them I did. <laughs> Uh, it was great. So this year I decided to write down a lot more goals. Um, a lot of them are kind of like intertwined with each other. So like as I achieve one, I kind of like achieve a couple like at the same time. Um, you know, a couple things that I have out for myself was just to get out more, uh, be shooting a lot more, doing a lot more vlogs. Like I haven't actually dedicated time to actually doing vlogs so I think now I'm gonna try to actually get a good start on actually doing so uh, the door just opened from a ghost I don't know but anywho now yeah so I just want to release more content this year um errol and i are trying to put together like a couple eps i'm also trying to make an ep with kelly like i've never really like taken music seriously as far as like creating it myself uh but i think i'm gonna try it and i'm sorry this might be too loud i might have to move Three goals for 2020. What's that? Um, release more music, open for Alice in Wonderland, and get rich. Three goals for 2020. Fucking uh, agree. All I need is a good Rolodex. Get rich, do more projects, read more. 
Oh, I got mad books at the crib. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. Glass of mead? Two. Only glass of you, yeah. Mead. Three girls for 2020. Do you even like me? Um, oh. squirt. <laughs> Damn, squirt big out. enough that I need to change the sheets. Um, oh have God. four digits in my bank account. And get slim thick. Mm. And stay slim thick. Because I'd be getting slim thick and then what, what be fucking around. It's mm -hmm. And getting too thick again. So what, what, what are we cooking over here? We've got Dijon marinated chicken. Uh, I'm making some Brussels sprouts with a little bit of truffle oil, honey, turkey bacon pancetta, and goat cheese. And then we're making homemade roasted garlic truffle mashed potatoes. Oh, is that mine? Yeah. Is this yours? Are you gonna drink it out of a mason jar? I mean, only artists drink out of mason jars. <laughs> Damn, do you want the mason jar? Yeah, sure. All right, tell me if you like it first. <laughs> oh, damn, this smells strong. It's Is very strong. Is there liquor in there too? Well, it's like a, it's like wine, but oh, it's I think I've had this before, wine. shit. That's not that bad. Oh, yeah. You want glass? Yeah. You can say no, I won't be offended. No. Three goals for 2020, Miss Kitten. <laughs> Tina, three goals for 2020. Money. Honey. <laughs> Keep a shuffle on that mom. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mom! Not even fun ones like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You get in non flavor Cheerios! No! <laughs> Not even honey. What is it called? Honey, honey nut? nut honey Nut! Oh, yeah. Sugar free? <laughs> mom! Oh. I don't even have a serving spoon. I'm not. Don't laugh at that. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting it on my plate. Go ahead, baby. Tim, use a serving spoon. Yeah, use a serving spoon. No. Are y'all serious? <laughs> 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 Booyah! Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're gonna go shoot with Christina. Uh, I haven't shot with her in a couple months. It's definitely been some time. But uh, I'm really excited. Can't wait to get there and see what we're gonna create today. Uh, yeah, we'll see you there.
going back to the goals that we have for 2020, um, it's all about being more productive, being more financially responsible, and not only like trying to do it just for myself, but for everybody that's around me, you know? Uh, a couple days after the new year, like when we were all like kind of together, we all like got together to actually write out like our goals. Um, I don't have my sheet with me right now, like present, but I can tell you that um, there are so, so many goals on that sheet because last year um, we did it also. And when we did that last year, um, I went through the whole year, like, you know, just going about all of my creative endeavors and just like life endeavors. And then I looked at the sheet at the end of the year and realized that like, I actually marked off like over 85% of the goals that I made for myself for last year, 2019. If I can achieve one goal, then I can achieve two, right? And it, it's just like a, a snowball domino effect. Like as soon as you get rolling with one thing, like you're, in, you're on to the next, like already, you know what I mean? So this year I wrote out literally like almost 40, 50 goals for myself. And why that may, while that may seem like, you know, a huge number of goals for one person to achieve in 365 days, you know, it's not like I can't achieve those things all in one year or beyond one year, you know what I'm saying? So like, whenever you're thinking about writing goals for yourself, it, it goes beyond a time constraint or a time limit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do so much whenever because, you know, I mean, God forbid, like you, you know, meet your demise someday, but as far as we know, like, we're going to tell to live, you know, till tomorrow. And if I can complete a goal today, that's one of the 50, you know. So tomorrow, I can complete another one. That's two of the 50. And if you think about it, there's 365 days you can complete so, so, so many goals or whatever. No matter how big or small they are. But you got to remember, like, you have to have goals in, like, each tier. And I think that there's, like, three different tiers, of course. I think there's, like, life outstanding like huge huge monumental goals right that like we all want to achieve like if, if you want to be an actor like of course you want to get um uh an oscar someday you know what i'm saying like that's like a lifetime goal achievement right that like you can you could achieve in one year five years ten years but sometimes it could take you 20 years to achieve that goal but as soon as you write out that goal for yourself one time you have your entire life to figure it out and see how can I achieve this goal, you know? And really that's just the energy that I want to carry uh, going on, like just for, for, for the 2020 new year and going on beyond that, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I believe that like anything that I want to achieve or that my peers want to achieve, you know, we can all help each other get there. And really, that's, like, what I'm really, really trying to focus on a lot this year is, like, really pushing through and, you know, sacrificing the good times for even better times, you know, um, or sacrificing the bad times for, you know, good times. <laughs> but that's what that's what we're on, man. That's the mission that we're headed towards, you know, this year. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I just can't wait to see where we all get, where we all land, you know, in the near or distant future. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all that, uh, I had for the goals.